Shalom. Kohala, Yahweh, Bashim, Awashai, Bahashim, Rakak, Radash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders. Salutations to my fellow laborers, the Akim, the confusion of face Akim. Hopefully, Lek and the Akwaf that are listening to learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. Uh, coming back at you with another lesson uh, in truth. And uh, this is a video that the, uh, the brother Jeremiah put up. It's a mighty man in the Lord, you know, uh, literally, you know, this is a mighty man in the Lord, man. And, and, and I mean, he, he's mighty in appearance, but he's, 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 he's three times as mighty in the spirit, man. I've had the pleasure of uh, standing shoulder to shoulder with this brother for many a years, you know, uh, putting everything on the line to bring out the, this truth. All right. Which in this truth is, is in defiance of, uh, of all ordinances and governments, man. All right. So when I say we're putting our lives on the line to do this work, man, we really are, you know, and, and you know, and these scoffers that come on the comic boards with all their little stupid and uh, and uh, uh, um, effeminate and emotional uh, uh, opinions that's never backed up by scripture. And then they bring out scriptures and the scriptures not talking about what they're talking about because they're not learned in the scriptures, man. All right. Well, the scripture doesn't back up their argument because they don't have understanding in the scripture. You know, a lot of you people read scripture for face value, for what it says in the English, and you have to go deeper. If you're not going into the Hebrew and the Greek, you're never going to understand what the Bible's truly talking about. Some things aren't that plain, you know, like that word world, which he talks about, John 3.16, in the scripture, man. Like there are many, many different definitions for the word world. So when something says the world, you have to actually go to, to either the Hebrew or the Greek to get the understanding of what it's actually talking about. If it's talking about a people, per, a place, or a thing, what sort of noun is it talking about? Okay. Or even a time, a, a time period. Because the three main, main ways that the word world is used in the Bible is number one, is used, the, the, that word, the Greek word will be oinkamedi if it's in the uh, New Testament, which is talking about the whole inhabited earth. All right. Then the word world also used in the New Testament um, is, is, is eon. It's talking about an age. So we're talking about a period of time. And then the third and most important word world in the New Testament is talking about the Israelites, the world of Israel. Each nation is a world. And there were 18 nations created in, the, in Genesis, the 10th chapter. 18 nations of people were created and they're all still here. And each one is a world. And the world that the Lord came and died for was the world of Israel. Point blank, period. All right. So, uh. The, the name of his video is, uh, let me pan down a little bit, is Top New Testament Scriptures Christianity Will Never Believe, all right? Because they don't want to acknowledge what the scriptures say, as in John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me as the scripture hath saith, all right? The scriptures tell you that 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 uh, the Lord Yahweh Shai uh, uh, and the tribe of Judah look like the man on the screen. It describes people that look like him. Over and over again, but people don't want to acknowledge what the scriptures say. They want to go by uh, uh, the uh, colonial uh, um, um, plantation Christianity, which had been put up, made, started mainly here in America and in Europe. Okay, all the iconoclasm that went on during the uh, the Renaissance, uh, and and w w apparently and clearly, it's an easy thing to go investigate. And see, the truth is coming out on, on, on this, this plantation Christianity, and people don't like it. So let's let's bring out some scriptures, man. This is uh, Acts 4 and 12, because I'm, I'm going to attack it from this angle. You know, these are just some of the scriptures that they don't want to acknowledge, man. You know, these people say you can call them whatever you want. No, you can't, man. No, no. Even a person in the street don't want to be called by whatever you want them, because they have a, a name or a nickname. They need, there's something you need to call them by that they're going to acknowledge. That identifies them. And this is Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there any salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So that's that's singular, not plural, not many. There's one name, and that name had to be given. Just like the scriptures describe that the truth would come back into the earth through a man, through Elias. All right, he came back as John the Baptist, and then it, then he clearly he had to come back again. The truth had to come back into the earth through a man, and be given unto the Israelites, and they had to wake up to remember themselves, as the Scripture have said. 
In the, in the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, it's all about the valley of the dry bones. All right. And, 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 and those dry bones waking up to who they are is the Israelites remembering themselves because they have been scattered, mixed among the heathen uh, uh, against their will in most cases. So it's already happened for you. You have to have an Israelite mother and an Israelite father uh, uh, to be an Israelite. You are out of your mind. It's the seed, man, the seed of man. Thus saith the scriptures, if, the, if what they say were true, there be no 12 tribes. For the 12 tribes of Israel, their, their father, their father uh, Jacob was the one, it was his seed. Though the, the, the 12 tribes came out of four heathen women, man, who were not Israelites. All right? There will be no tribe of Joseph. Joseph's, uh, uh, the mother of his children were Hamites, so-called Africans, Egyptians. All right? The, uh, the, uh, uh, the sons of, uh, of, of Moses, Moses' uh, wife was an Egyptian as well. Were his sons not Levites? So that concept of, of, of you, you, you know, look, you, you, you black only, uh, you BOIs are irritating, all right? You're irritating and, and you're ignorant of fact, all right? The second Ezra, uh, uh, I'm the not, uh, not second Ezra, but Ezra, the ninth chapter, verses one through seven, clearly explains that the confusion of faith is talking about um, appearance. It's not just being confused in the mind. That part is true. All right. You know, they would wax pale. We were confused for a moment. All right. That's another scripture that they, 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 they mess up. Pale is not talking about Jacob won't actually be pale. It's talking about being confused and lost and in a dead state, not knowing who they are. They have to be woken up in a certain, and that was a prophecy. All right. John 17, uh, uh, four clearly says to Jer Jeremiah that even thyself, even the, you, you, you know, let me just get it. So I don't uh, mess it up because now this is turning into something else because I, I'm freshly off the comment board off, pe you know, on, on people just saying things that they can't back up with scripture and they just speaking emotionally, man. They think if they speaking about opinion. This is Jeremiah uh, 17 and 4. It says, And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance which I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the lands which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which will burn forever, which means a long time, not forever. If it burn forever, we'd never be gathered up. We'd never remember who we are. All right? So the Israelites would not know who they were for a long period of time, and then they would remember themselves. Why? Through the prophecies. Through the reading of the word, which took time, hundreds and, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of years. All right. Remember, one day is a thousand years to the Lord, man. And a day is as a thousand years. So it may have been five lifetimes to us, but it was only a day to the Lord, man. All right. Um. But yeah, when you're going back to that, to, to Acts 4 and 12, it clearly said there would be one name, one name, not many. It was singular. So that cuts all that you can call on whatever you want or what you feel, man. The Lord has righteous titles, which you could use just in description when speaking about them. But to call on his name, you have to know it because that is the key to salvation. When that time comes, the scripture just said, so not me. All right. Acts 4 and 12 tells you that clearly. OK. This is uh, Zephaniah um, 3 and 9, and it reads, For then I will turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent, one, and a, one language. So it has, so that's another thing with these, these Christians don't want to acknowledge the Hebrew and the Greek. They're reading the Bible in English. And think that that's sufficient. And it's not. It's not. Right? Okay. Let's get a couple more scriptures if they don't want to acknowledge, man. This is our revelation. Uh, 22. I mean, 20, uh, 22. Uh, 2, I'm sorry. Revelation 2, 26 and verse 27. All right. 
And it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Be why? Because we're risking our lives and our freedom to do this work. Someone has to be doing such. It's not a threat to, to, to the, the, the FBI isn't, isn't listening, isn't, isn't on the phones and listening and recording uh, um, Joel Osteen. You know, a Dr. Price, T.D. Jakes, Paula White. But when we go out and teach and we look at our Wi-Fi, it says FBI. And we've had agents approach our camps all the time. Why? Because we're reading out of the Bible, because the Bible is, is the, the U.S. government and all world governments are actually contrary to the Bible. And the Bible is against what they've set up and what they're pushing. So by us telling this truth makes us enemies of the state, man. So it says here, he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, that means you're going to be in straits doing this truth. They're going to attack you in every way whatsoever, man. Brothers getting messages from, from, from hackers and people overseas talking about when the soldiers get here. You know, they have brothers uh, threatening Uriah and Yakia, and, you know, playing with their phones, driving their phone bills up to five or $600, turning off their lights and stuff at home. You know, things of that nature, man. All right? He that keep he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. All right, and they don't want us to have power over them. The Lord is coming to put down all power structures and prince and principalities, man. All right, In verse twenty seven, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and as vessels of a, of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. And the Israelites are going to be co heirs with Yahweh. All right. And that, and that list that's on the list, all right, this brother right here works as a bouncer sometime. I did for many years, all right? And there's certain areas in the club, the VIP section, or you couldn't get into the club if you didn't have a proper ID, all right? And then you always had the people who wanted to say they knew the DJ or the owner wanted to get in, man. If you weren't on the list, you weren't getting in, man. You weren't getting a complimentary pass into the, into the club, man, all right? And it's the same thing. Me and this brother on the door. All right. And if you don't have the uh, hey, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're not getting in, man. That's just what it is. It's simple as that. All right. Um, one more scripture that they don't that, well, actually two more. These are milk scriptures that come out all the time, but they have a deep, deep meaning to them. OK, because this is uh, Hebrews. And it's funny, too, how. You know, you, you people that want to save Esau, all right, your, your, your daddy Esau, the devil who you want to be just like, you're never trying to save the other nations. It's always Esau, man, okay? And according to the New Testament, Esau has no chance of repentance. Not just Esau himself, the whole race, the tabernacle of Edom, the race of, the house of, all right? Uh, Hebrews 12, 16, and 17. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know that afterward, when he would have inherited the, the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So your tears, you know, like the video I did uh, was um, talking about how Esau is, 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 uh, is seeing his fall, man. With the young lady on there crying, right? That was the message, but it turned into this whole crazy debate about about uh, uh, her being an Edomite or an Israelite. Who cares? All right, that's not the point. Neither is that important. There is a wheat and tares, man. All right, and if she is or isn't, I never said she was. If she wasn't, I just said that her uh, some of her uh, uh, characteristics, that she her behavior was 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 uh, not that of an Edomite. Doesn't mean she wasn't an Edomite. I really don't care. That wasn't the message. The message, the, the message was is that the Edomites are falling. So you people are missing. And what was that saying in, 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 in uh in Into the Dragon when Bruce Lee told the, the, his students, popped them on the head, when he told them it's like a finger pointing away at the moon, and the kids started staring at the finger, and he popped them on the head and said, Don't uh man, this is nothing but Satan, man. And he said, Don't pay attention. To the uh to the finger for if you do you shall miss all the heavenly glory man 
And that's what you people are missing. You're missing all the heavenly glory by focusing on things just for argument's sake. E. Jacobs is hard-headed, man. Got no works, no videos, haven't, haven't gone out anywhere. Your face is not in the, in the FBI war room, war room. All right? Where they got a, a, a pictures of your face all over the wall with strings attached to who's the leader of this camp and, and this, that, and the other. Hey, but guess what? They gonna come for you, for you comic board, you, 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 uh, you comic board warriors, man. You keyboard warriors, man, who have no work whatsoever, have done nothing to push this gospel, except be a hindrance, man, and be a pest. Hey, hey, the Lord gonna come see you, man. All right, and you can cry all you want to. Revelation thirteen nine and ten is tell you clearly those who orchestrated the, sl the slave trade are going into slavery because it was the Israelites that went into slavery and got scattered to the four cor corners of the earth and they didn't do it by getting put on no train and sent to Nazi Germany. That's not going into slavery, being scattered to the four corners of the earth. All right? To the four corners of the earth. Call Halal Yehawabashim Nawashai Bahashem Rakakwadash Wa'ababababal.